Welcome to Health Chat, your source of a wide range of health tips and hacks. Caffeine is a natural chemical compound that occurs in the leaves, seeds, buds, and barks of over 60 species of plants that grow all over the world. The most popular sources of caffeine are coffee beans, cacao beans, and tea leaves, less popular ones are from the likes of the bark of the Paulinia yoko tree. On the other hand, we'll define addiction, in the context of this material, as consuming a daily dose of 500 mg of caffeine or more. In coffee measurement, that's about 5 cups, brewed. This information we have just shared busts the preconceived notion that only coffee contains caffeine. Soda, tea, and chocolate products contain caffeine too. Caffeine has the ability to keep you awake and help burn that midnight oil in time of dire need. Caffeine, whether in tea, coffee, or chocolate form has a social effect in people. It helps you blend in, break the ice, mingle, and converse. It is being considered as one of your friends as it has helped you sit up late at night and clear those grueling math papers. With all the usefulness one can think of, we also happen to know that coffee contains caffeine, and too much of it is not good for your health. According to Wikipedia, caffeine, is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive drug. Unlike many other psychoactive substances, it is legal and unregulated in nearly all parts of the world. If it's a drug, is it good, or bad for you? Let's stress that this material is about the addiction to it. If you take no less than 500 mg of caffeine per day, that's about 5 cups of coffee, you may be addicted to it. Addiction to anything that consumes you, instead of you consuming it, is always bad. Having too much caffeine can help you remain alert but it is the aftermath you should be worried about, the ill effects it has on your health. It is a stimulus which does wonders to your central nervous system by stressing the hormones in the bloodstream and keeping you alert and awake whenever you have it. This unnatural way of keeping your body alert takes a toll on your body. The normal way of functioning gets disrupted due to the addictive intake of too much caffeine in whatever form you most fancy it, chocolate, coffee, tea, or soda. After knowing the ill effects of caffeine, if you suddenly stop taking caffeine, coffee for example, from a point of addiction, you will face caffeine withdrawal symptoms, which can be anything from a headache, irritability, fatigue, constipation, lack of appetite, lack of concentration, or even forgetfulness. The withdrawal symptoms can be very harmful, leading to stomach ulcers, as the coffee can be acidic. This excess acid gets into your blood streams, causing loss of calcium in urine. Caffeine which has been freely used in most of the beverages has led kids get addicted to it. The high content of sugar just makes it very popular among children with excess weight. Ca Caffeine has some good for you, and some bad too. When you reach a level of addiction, the bad comes out like a monster. Look at it this way, oxygen is essential to life. We need oxygen to live. But did you know you can get intoxicated with oxygen? Too much of anything is bad. While caffeine is a great source of antioxidants, too much caffeine, one that places you in the stage of addiction to it, can pull off some nasty conditions you don't want. Keep a healthy dose of it at no more than 300 mg per day if you take caffeine daily, or no more than 500 mg if you take it occasionally. This video is intended for informational purposes only, and is not purposed to replace a consultation with, and diagnosis of, a licensed health professional or a medical doctor. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please hit the like button below. For more health tips, tap or click the subscribe button. While you're at it, ring the bell button to get notified when we post new videos.